Hey everyone, welcome to another Doctor Who DVD Blu-ray collection uh, update. Um, it's been a long time since I've done one of these. Uh, there's a lot of Blu-rays and DVDs that have come out since my last video. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take you through all the ones I've got now. Um, as of this video, the only two that I don't have that have been announced are The Web of Fear and Evil of the Daleks, which are coming out in the next... Well, Web of Fear is coming out next month and Evil of the Daleks is out in September. So, to start with, I've got just some box sets at the top, like a few of the Big Finish uh, box sets, and then I have a Three Doctors um, collection, um, which comes with the Corgi Bessie, that's the original release that has the Panopticon special feature that's not available in the special edition. Then I also have this Regeneration box set, which has, uh, I think, every Doctor Who Regeneration story. Um, I can't remember, it's been a while since I've looked at it. Um, and I have a, some of my sonic screwdrivers at the top there. So yeah, we're just gonna go shelf by shelf. Um, I'm not gonna talk too much about the stories. Um, I may say, give some opinions on some of the newer releases that they've done, like the animation ones. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first shelf, we have the uh, collection box sets, uh, which come out on Blu-ray, which are really nice. So we, first one we have is uh, season eight which um, contains Terror of the Autons, The Mind of Evil, Claws of Axos, Colony in Space and the Daemons. Um, the reason my one's sealed is uh, my dad actually bought a copy of it and he opened his one, so we've been watching that one um, and I've just kept this one sealed. Um, then we have season 10, which is one of my favorite seasons and it has the Three Doctors, the Carnival of Monsters, Frontier in Space, Planet of the Daleks and the Green Death. And then season 12, which this is the um, first release. Uh, I know they've re-released it again, and they've also started releasing them as, as standard Blu-ray cases. Um, so this one has Robot, The Ark in Space, The Centauran Experiment, Genesis of the Daleks, and Revenge of the Cyberman. Um There was a lot of problems with this first release. Uh, I had to request a new disc for Revenge of the Cybermen twice because of the special effects. The new special effects weren't added to some of the scenes and uh, yeah, um, one of the shots near the end like had a freeze frame of the TARDIS which wasn't accurate. Um, and the Sontide experiment had audio problems as well so I had to request for a new disc for that. Um, but apart from that, it, it's a brilliant box set. Uh, then we have season 14 and this contains the Mask of Mandragora, The Hand of Fear, Deadly Assassin, The Face of Evil, The Robots of Death, and The Talons of Wing Chun. Uh, season 18, which is Tom, Baker, Tom Baker's final season. So this one has The Leisure Hive, Megloss, Full Circle, State of Decay, Warrior's Gate, Keeper of Truck, and Logopolis, and King Island and Company. Uh, season 19. This one has Castrovalva, Fort of Doomsday, Kinder, The Visitation, Black Orchid, Earthshock, and Time Flight. Uh, season 23, which is the Trial of the Time Lord season. This contains uh, all four stories from the uh, Trial of the Time Lord, including extended versions of every episode. So you have uh, The Mysterious Planet, which is the first part, Mind Warp, Terror of the Vervoids, and The Ultimate Foe. And the final, uh, the newest uh, season set they've released is season 24, which is Cersei McCoy's first season. Um, this contains Time in the Rani, Terrorized Towers, Delta in the Bannerman, and Dragonfire. Um, all four stories are extended as well, which is really nice. And then we have season 26, which is the final classic series season. So it has Battlefield, Ghostlight, Curse of Fenric, and Survival. So that's the collection uh, box sets. Um, they haven't announced what the next one is. Um, rumors are it's season 20, which I wouldn't mind. Um, I hope, hopefully once they've animated a lot of the remaining Patch of Chow Chowtons, they release his seasons. Um, and then hopefully they will animate the rest of the Doctor Who stories that need animating and we can have the whole 26 seasons on Blu-ray, which would be really nice. Um, so yeah, we'll start with the DVDs now. So I've got more than 30s in the TARDIS. Story of Doctor Who, uh, Doctor Who BBC Two Night, 
Lost in Time box set, which is becoming more and more irrelevant. Um, An Earthy Child, first ever Doc 2 story. Daleks, The Edge of Destruction, Marco Polo, Keys and Marinus, The Aztecs, the first release, The Aztecs, second release, or special edition release, I should say. Uh, the Sensor Riots, The Reign of Terror with the two animated episodes, Planet of Giants, Dark Invasion of Earth. Which is one of my favourite Dalek stories, I love that one. Uh, the Rescue. The Romans. The Web Planet. Uh, and The Crusade, which I'm still hoping they release this uh, with two animated episodes at some point. So we go down to the next shelf. We have the Space Museum. The Chase. The Time Meddler. Galaxy 4, which is rumoured to be getting an animation. Uh, Mission to the Unknown. This has just got the audio CD in it at the moment. Um, I did. I have seen the uh, the fan-made episode, which I thought was very good. Um, I'm hoping they would release that in a collection or something, because I, th I think it is worthy of a release. Um, the Myth Makers, which is a recon. Dalek's Master Plan. Um, all the missing stories such as Marco Polo and uh, Galaxy 4, Myth Makers, Dalek's Master Plan, etc. They're, they're all reconstructions that I've, I've transferred to a DVD. So uh, the next one is uh, The Massacre, The Ark, The Sister of Toymaker, The Gunfighters, Savages, The War Machines. Smugglers, The Tenth Planet, uh, Power of the Daleks Animated, which I, I really enjoyed. Um, yeah, I thought they did a really good job on this. I was a big fan of the animation style as well. I did, I did enjoy that. Um, then we've got the Blu-ray Steelbook, which contains the colour version, which I'm not too keen on. There's a few errors in it as well, like at the beginning of episode six, I think, or the end of episode five, one of them, uh, the Daleks are flipped and they're the wrong way around which really irritates me every time I watch it. Um, Power Daleks Special Edition. This is just black and white version. There's no colour version on this. Um, this is the one I always watch. I think they did a, a good job cleaning up some of the animation. Um, yeah, it's really good. Uh, the Highlanders. The Underwater Menace, which is, in my opinion, the worst DVD release out of all of them. Uh, the reconstructions they did for the episodes. Um, is rubbish it is so poor I'm, I'm really disappointed with that uh the moon base which actually is a very good story um the animation is excellent i think that's the best animated doctor who story out of all of the ones they've done uh the macro terror which i really enjoyed i enjoyed the animation for that um i do i have seen it i've watched both versions i watched it in black and white and color i had to say the color version is actually very good i was very impressed with that one um the faceless ones. Uh, I always watch the black and white, black and white version with the existing episodes. I know there is the option to watch it in color with uh, all the episodes animated, but I never, I never do that. Um, Evil of the Daleks, which is the next animated story to be released. I cannot wait for that. Uh, the Tomb of Cybermen, Tomb of Cybermen Special Edition. The Born of Snowmen, which is also rumored to get. Um, an animation after Evil of the Daleks. I hope that's true because I'm very fond of that story. I like it a lot. Uh, the Ice Warriors with two animated episodes. Um, a lot of people don't like the two anima the animation stuff for this story. Um, I think it's pretty good. It's not it's not brilliant, but it does a good job. Um, special edition of Enemy of the World. Uh, this is an excellent story. I'm so glad this was found. Um, I think myself, like a lot of Doctor Who fans, thought this story wasn't very good, but when it was recovered and we actually got a chance to watch it, we realised it is a very good story and Patch Chowton is excellent. Um, then we have the original release, which is the BBC Shop exclusive with these nice slip covers. Uh, the same for the Weather Fear, BBC Shop exclusive. Um, great story. I'm looking forward to the Blu ray release of this with the animated episode 3 finally. Uh, Fury from the Deep, 
very good story. I was very impressed with the animation on this as well. I really enjoyed it. The Wind Space, which I hope gets an animation at some point. Uh, the Dominators, the Mind Robber, the Invasion with the two animated episodes, uh, the Crotons, the original release of the Seeds of Death, the special edition release of the Seeds of Death, uh, the reconstruction of the Space Pirates, the War Games, the original release of Spirit from Space, the special edition release of Spirit from Space, the Blu-ray release, and I also have the Blu-ray Steelbook, which is still sealed because I know I just I watched this version. Uh, Doctor Who and the Silurians, the Ambassadors of Death, Inferno, and the special edition of Inferno. One of my favourite John Pertwee stories. That is. If we go down to the next shelf. Terror of the Autons, the Mind of Evil, the original release of the Claws of Axos. A special edition release of the Claws of Axos. Colony in Space. The Daemons. They have the Daleks. Which I really like. Uh, the special the special. I think it's a special edition version. Yeah, special edition version of this. And this is the version I always watch with the new Dalek voices. And they added more Daleks to it. And CGI effects. I think it's really good. It's definitely the best version to watch in my opinion. Um, so the Curse of Pokemon. Sea Devils, Mutants, The Time Monster, Three Doctor Special Edition, uh, the original release is, is up here, is in there, with the nice little model Bessie. So if we go back down, uh, Carnival of Monsters original release, and the special edition release. I know all these stories are like from this season are out on Blu-ray and and the uh, first season with the master as well, but I, I always like keeping the, the DVDs anyway. Um, so that's why I haven't got rid of any of my DVDs. I, I, I don't think I ever will as well. I just like having them. Uh, so yeah, what do we get up to? So it's Frontier in Space, Planet of the Daleks, Green Death, Green Death Special Edition, Time Warrior, Major of the Dinosaurs, Death to the Daleks, Monster of Pelagon, Planet of the Spiders, Robot, The Ark in Space original release, The Ark in Space Special Edition, Sontaran Experiment, Genesis of the Daleks, Revenge of the Cybermen, Terror of the Zygons, Planet of Evil, Pyramids of Mars, the Android Invasion, The Braid of Morbius, The Seeds of Doom, The Mask of Mandragora, The Hand of Fear, The Deadly Assassin, The Face of Evil, The original release of The Robots of Death, I just added a... I printed off the icon for Tom Baker's face for the spine and this bit, because it was originally a different picture. Uh, then we have the special edition release of Robots of Death, the Talons of Wing Chiang, the special edition release of the Talons of Wing Chiang, Horror Fang Rock, the Invisible Enemy, Image of the Fendal, the Sun Makers, Underworld, the Invasion of Time, and part one of the Key to Time, the Ribus Operation. Uh, part two, the Pirate Planet. Part three, the Stones of Blood. Part four, the Android Tatara. Part five, the Power of Crow. And part six, the Armageddon. Uh, Destiny of the Dark. City of Death. Creature from the Pit. Nightmare of Eden. The Horns of Nymon. Sharda. Uh, Shard of Blu-ray. Uh, I remember in my one of my old videos, I, I was talking about how I thought the um, DVD release of Shard was rubbish, and uh, I hope they. Uh, I wish they had animated it, and lo and behold, they they must have heard me because they did animate the missing segments. 
um, and it's a very very good at animation I was impressed with this um, it is a little bit jarring sometimes when it goes from live action to the animation but I, it's better than not having a complete story but I, I was impressed with that uh, the Leisure Hive Megalos Full Circle State of Decay Warriors Gate Keeper of Charkin Logopolis Castro Valva Fall to Doomsday Kinder uh, The Visitation This is signed by Paddy Kingsland The uh, person who did the music for The Visitation It's signed to me and my brother uh, Special Edition of The Visitation Black Orchid Earthshock, uh, my dad got this signed by the woman who plays not the command or the captain of the, the freighter, but like the second in command, the other woman. Yeah. Time Flight, Ark of Infinity, Snake Dance, uh, Maundron Undead, Terminus, Enlightenment, the King's Demons. A uh, original release of the Five Doctors with the this is the BBC cover that you can get online. Uh, the 25th anniversary edition of the Five Doctors. Warriors of the Deep. Uh, the Awakening. Frontius. Uh, Re Resurrection of the Daleks, the original release. Resurrection of the Daleks special edition. Planet of Fire. The original release of the Cage of Androzani, the special edition release of Cage of Androzani, Twin Dilemma, Attack of the Cybermen, the original release of uh, Vengeance on Barros, the special edition release, Mark of the Rani, uh, the first release of the Two Doctors with the Jimmy Savile uh, special feature, which you can't get anymore for obvious reasons. Uh, and time lash. Go down to the next shelf. Uh, Revelation of the Daleks. Trial of the Time Lord. Trial of the Time Lord. Part two. Uh, that's part one. The Mysterious Planet. Uh, that's part two. Mind Warp. Part three. Terror of the Vervoids. Um, part four. The Ultimate Foe. I'm not too sure why they didn't just put the titles on the spine. Um, and then had the sticker just say Trial of a Time Lord on it. But oh well. Uh, real time webcast. Uh, this is the big finish audio. Uh, the BBC did an animation for it and it is pretty good. Um, the animation is very limited though, but it's a good story. Uh, time of the Rani. Paradise Towers. Delta and the Bannerman. Dragonfire. The original release of Remembrance of the Daleks. This is just with a custom cover. That I printed off ages ago. I just really enjoy it. enjoy this cover more than the uh, original release. Uh, special edition of Remembrance of the Daleks. The Happiness Patrol. Silver Nemesis. Greatest Show in the Galaxy. Battlefield. Uh, signed by the my dad's got this signed by the same woman from who's in Earthshock. Uh, she plays the pub. Keeper or the innkeeper in this, the blind woman. Yeah, that's who that's signed by. Uh, Ghostlight, Curse of Fenric, Survival, Dimensions in Time, Death Comes to Time. This is another webcast. Um, it's not bad. Movie, first release, uh, special edition release of the movie, and the Blu ray release of the movie. Uh, webcast of Sharda, and then in here I have Scream of the Shalker and uh, the Canine and Company. I don't, I've got to take it out of the box. Um, all my other boxes I've taken, I've taken them off, just because it was easier for me to get all the, the stories out. Um, so next up we have this 40th anniversary uh, Dalek set, I guess. Um, this has. Dalek Invasion of Earth, Resurrection of the Daleks, and Remembrance of the Daleks, all the original releases. Um, this is limited to 5,000 and it's number 832. Put that up there. 
for the moment. And then we have the Davros box set, which is a very good box set. Um, this one's limited from 10,000 and I have 6,960. Uh, yeah, it's a very good box. It has every Davros story from the classic series. And it also has uh, the audios, uh, some of the audios with Davros in. So we've got Davros, the Juggernauts, Terra Firma, uh, I Davros, Innocence, I Davros, Purity, I Davros, Corruption, and I Davros, Guilt, and the Davros mission. Um, yeah, so if you can find that, it's really worth picking up. Uh, then we have the Perks we use. Tom Baker years, Daleks the early years, Cybermen the early years, uh, Mythmakers, Roger Delgado, and then we have these Doctor Who uh, Doctors documentaries, so we have the first one, William Hartnell years, uh, Pat Trouton years, John Pertwee years, Tom Baker years, uh, Tristan McCoy years, Paul McGann years, uh, the Monsters, and the Villains. Um, I think there's a few more out. I'm not, I can't remember though, but I think there is a few more out to get. Um, complete first series. The complete second series. And if we go down to the last shelf, we have the complete third series. Uh, the infinite quest. The complete fourth series. Um, I also have the Blu-ray of the Complete Four series. I've been meaning to go back and get the third series, second series, and first series on Blu-ray. Just haven't got around to it yet. Uh, Dreamland. The Complete Specials. Uh, the Complete Fifth series. So that's the uh, limited edition Steelbook edition. Um, the Complete Sixth series. The Complete Seventh series. The uh, Day of the Doctor 50th Anniversary Special. Um, then I have this box set, which is the 50th Anniversary Collector's Edition, which has uh, the Day of the Doctor, the Time of the Doctor, uh, the name, of, yeah, the name of the Doctor, the Day of the Doctor, Farewell to Matt Smith, A Night with the Stars, Science of Doctor Who, Doctor Who: The Ultimate Guide, The Night of the Doctor, The Last Day, Script to Screen. Uh, you got trailers, uh, an Adventure Space and Time movie. Uh, Tales from the Tardis, The Five-ish Doctors, Doctor Who Proms 2013, The Time of the Doctor, and deleted scenes and other special features. Really nice box set. I'm really glad to have that. Um, Doctor Who, the complete eighth series, um, which is actually the last series I own. I don't own any ones past that, and I have this Deep Breath single release. Uh, the reason is I just I lost interest in the new series. Uh, I didn't like the way it was going. Um, I wasn't really a fan of any of the stories. Um, so that's why I haven't picked up any of the, the box sets after season eight. Uh, I just lost interest. I, I prefer the classic series and I'm always gonna be a classic series fan at the end of the day. Um, maybe one day I'll, I'll buy them and I'll, I'll watch them. But at the moment I have no interest in the new series. Uh, so we have the DVD of Adventure in Space and Time. And then we have some of these spin-offs. So we have Downtime, the Mind Game Saga, the Demons of Devil's End, uh, Demons Rising, or Demons Rising, um, Wartime Chronicles. Then we've got my Sarah Jane Adventures. So we've got the first series, the second series. Just move back a little bit. The third series, um, I've been meaning to pick up the, I think there's two seasons left to get up, series four and five, I think they're on Blu-ray as well. I've been meaning to pick them up for ages, just not got around to it. Uh, then we've got the, the Dalek, the uh, Dalek movies, this is like a really old release I got. Um, then I got a newer release because my original release, the discs started sticking and not working. Uh, just me wearing them out, I guess. Then we have uh, the Blu-rays. So uh, this is the limited edition Blu-ray, which contains uh, both movies. Um, really nice, I'm really happy to have that. And then we've got the steelbooks of the uh, two movies. So it's the first movie, we've got two in the Daleks. Really nice. And uh, Daleks Invasion of Earth, 2150 AD. Which is also really nice. Um, and then finally I have these 
three introduction do uh, box sets which have three stories on. So this is the third Doctor one. So this contains uh, Spearhead from Space, which is the original release. Uh, then you've got the Daemons and the Time Warrior. And then we've got the fourth Doctor one, which has Robot, Genesis of the Daleks and Pyramids of Mars. And finally, I have the fifth Doctor box set, which has Castrovalva, Earthshock, and the original release of Keiji Ranjanani. So yeah, that's uh, my complete Doctor Who DVD collection and Blu-ray collection of uh, July 2021. Um, I will be doing updates. Uh, I might do an update just when Weather Fear and Evil of the Daleks come out, just to give my opinions on them and tell you guys what I think. Um, I will be doing a big finish uh, Doctor Who CD collection. Uh, when I can, but it is coming, um, and I'm also going to give you guys a look at some of my classic Doctor Who figures, because I've, I've managed to get them all on display now, um, all my new series ones are boxed away, I, uh, like I said, I've just lost interest in the new series, I've boxed a lot of those away, um, so yeah, um, thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, like it, um, yeah, and I'll catch you in the next video, thanks guys.